Oh, it is cracking like an everybody. It, uh, we are facing the faltering Red Sox. Uh, they've, uh, what have they? They're one in nine in their last ten. Wow. But we're not any better. We've lost four in a row. The Yankees have won five in a row. Um, I think, oh, did they sweep us? Oh, boy. And the Blue Jays finally lost. They were going for a good streak. They're trying to catch the Expos. All of us were like more than 12 games back, but the Blue Jays have come on strong. Tuesday night baseball set to come your way from Fenway Park in Boston. Continuing the road trip with the first of two between the Baltimore Orioles and the Boston Red Sox. It's Red Sox baseball on the show, and it comes your way next. Nick Pavetta gets the ball for the Red Sox in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year. 34 With walks. All the high scoring games. Oh, he's this been around for a while. ERA of sub three. And that's saying something. If he 34 continues walks, to do that, though, I think we're see a innings, really so good performance. Really got to be selective here. Now to the we plate here is Cedric Mullins. The He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Here's the first pitch to him. And we are underway from Fenway. With less the first home runs in this league. For ball one. Mullins is Guys, doing a hell of a Sox job. 16 home runs. Play here tonight. They've been in a serious tailspin of late, winning just once first in their day. previous Seven 10 11. games. Yeah, Matty V. And you know what, d -Roll, This is when you really get tested. They, they call it the dog days of August for a reason. When you're Four miles like an hour out to right, right field. Now, oh, and long, we got some good lefty long, hitters. And you start looking forward towards the end of the season. But yeah, so but don't they. Way, well, Dan, they got you know as well as I do. You got to look in the mirror. You're playing for way more, especially the way this team is underachieved. You got to keep grinding. You got to find a way to put your foot on the gas and show up to the yard every day ready to go. And this will miss as well. So he's in there danger. There we go. Three and one. Off man here tonight. It's three and one now. Will he pitch it over the plate? Swing and a liner toward the he gap. He does. And and that'll be at least a double. Way to the monster for extra bases. And the Orioles are in business here. It's there a we go. Double. Now that is the way you want to start a game on the road. He comes out swinging and stands at second as the first base runner of the night. Now we'll see. I was if a little late on that. If I wasn't if late, I think that would have went out. Into the box, James Campbell, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. With runners in scoring position this season, Campbell brings batting line of barely over 200, so there's certainly some room for improvement there. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. Hey, he's a light hitting shortstop, and he doesn't strike out, so he's pretty good. Number Open two to hitter. send him packing, pitch on its way. Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it. One and two. The key thing here is can he hit it to the right side? And he missed with it up and in to even things at two and two. Outside and a full count, three and two. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around them and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on deck circle. He's going to attack this hit. Yeah, he is. Two pitch. Now a ball lined hard toward right side. Oh, there we go. And this is going to find the gap and roll toward the bullpen for extra bases. That's going to be a triple. And he's in safely at third. As Start they it. jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. And that triple could not have come at a better time. The team has really He's struggled got four. the last few games trying to get over the hump, and they're looking for anything good to happen to them. And I'd say that triple definitely. Of course, Mullins is the AL leader with eight up. triples. All right, Mountcastle just has to hit it in the sky. And he lays off there, one and zero.
from the belt. Kicks and deals. I can't tell you how big a pitch that is right there to be called the ball. 2-0 as an offensive player, man, it's almost 70% fastball. 1-1, he opens up the entire arsenal to get you out. Oh, I was early on that it's one. Pulled foul wide of third. Darn it. Campbell, the runner at third with no outs. And it's two balls and two oh, strikes. Oh, I did not. That looked like a ball to me, but whatever. Now I have no idea where he's going to go. He's probably going to try to make me fish. Probably going to do it down low. Yeah. This is right. just the first inning, but this next pitch is a big one. You don't want to find yourself with two on, nobody out, and the three, four, five guys coming up. And this one misses he here. Him. Close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. I'll tell you, he's this looked is, unsteady out there since this the first This is the first time I've actually, a uh, I think I've had pass, success so against a pitcher really in the first. He's really searching for an answer to get back on track. We'll see if he can settle down here. So now the Oriole cleanup hitter, Trey Mancini, as we run you the numbers. What the hell, a 1.36? Oh, August 1st, 368. Yeah, he's... Wait, what? I don't know. I don't think that makes sense. I don't think he's hit 17 home runs this year, this month. First pitch on the way. Tough situation early out on the mound, but if he can limit the damage right here, might build some confidence and get him rolling. Just don't want to hit into a double play. Oh. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes. My first down. bad two swing. Now to runner at first, do you go for the strikeout, or you're still looking for the double play ball? Oh. Good time to try to put the ball down in the strike zone. You can either get a strikeout or a potential double play ball. Working for the punch out and the offering. I almost went. I almost did it. Trying to get me fishing. Trying to get me go low. And oh, and I did. Swung on for the third strike. I did. Oh, not good. And a double play could get him out of here with just one run. You can't, you can't do that. Come on, Austin. Austin Hayes. And the Orioles looking for more here in this game's opening frame. First pitch on its way. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him nothing in one. Oh, for Lifetime six with a K. Wow. He's hitless in six tries. Takes this the other There we go. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. There we go. Hey, that's not a bad first milestone. 100th career RBI, Dero. Yeah, and 100th first nice. original knockdown, probably for you, your first strikeout, your first bomb. You want to start putting some zeros on the back end of these numbers. 100th ribby, nice milestone right there. Yeah, he'll get that ball back. Now, Adley in his first. First. Uh, Adley Rutschman digging in now. A ball and no strikes. I think this First inning game could have far-reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going I to limit how deep it. he goes into this game. I love to see it. 24 pitches so far this inning. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Stop reading my mind, Matt. I'm screwed. Fastball at 94 uh, I'm not hitting that one on the outside corner. I'll let it go. Set up behind the dish is Clyde Washington, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. You know, D. Rowe, he is a pitcher's best friend, Clyde Washington. Down in the strike zone, he'll definitely call that ball right at the knees. If he's consistent with it, Dan, which Clyde always is, I'm okay with it. Fastball just missed above the zone. He went outside two. again. Ah. Don't want to hit that because that's a double play ball waiting to happen. Oh, 
trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time oh, for they a gotta get better change. Oh, they got to get better freaking dialogue here. It's nearly there we go, another walk. To and this one misses here. they got to get better dialogue here. If I hear that damn 3 2 change up thing, four. this is like at the, this rate, he's the hideous some time of record it. for walks issued in a game or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike he's zone. He's going to get an early hook. He Here's my man. Indigo. All dressed in Indigo. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. So he'll look at a fastball. Ah, no, it hasn't. He's, he's only got like 60 at bats. He's fine. He's fine. Here in the first inning. Down and away, ball one. 31 pitches. He's going to be out by the third, hopefully. Oh. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Hey, that's the kind of swing you'd like to see a guy take with the bases loaded. He's going for the downs. The one two. High in the air down the right field oh, line. Oh no. And it's a foul ball. And of course Murakami has his 55 now. For some reason Dylan Tate had the it. Next one two pitch. And it's oh. on and missed. Oh, Early on it. Early on the curveball. So he's got two walks and two strikeouts in one inning. Oh, that was so early. Is a big one. Some guys have success when they first get called up, but as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out, that's when the learning process starts. What can Jones do? Standing in now, Jemai Jones. Ball one. The numbers: 282 to start play. Four home runs. Done really good. He's done really well this year. Very proud of him. I think we brought him up earlier in the year and he struggled and then he came up and he just has been a one phenomenal. One to count. Damn it. Bases are loaded here, two down. And it's fouled away. All right, one and two. Here's the one two. Oh, no. And he goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a Two walks, three strikeouts, and only so two runs. Two, That's pathetic. Much worse as they that is the so pathetic. Loaded. That's going to we'll come by us in the end. I guarantee it. One. It's the Orioles, two. The Red Sox coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Michael Bauman is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Baltimore. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, if you're looking for Achilles heel from this pitcher, this jumps right out at you. Right-handed batters are hitting over 300 on the season against this guy. That's something he's going to have to improve on if he expects to pitch well in this one. Yeah, he's given up a lot of hits. Kike Hernandez. It lead things off here in the bottom Kike. half of the first. Hernandez. Great. From this view, I can't see the catcher. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, guys, I'm interested to take a look at this team in game one on this road trip right now. They have to play better. They took it on a chin, recent homestand, only winning two games. But I'll tell you what, today they're putting a guy out on the mound that can execute down and away. I look for him to set the tone. I hope he can. Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. Two and two now. All right, love it. Into the windup and the pitch. And he takes ball three. Are you kidding so it's me? A full count now. Yeah, wow, that was a pretty good him. two strike slider right there. I think that would fool them and the umpire too. Get back up the middle. All right. Doesn't do any harm. And there's one gone to start the night. Oh, boy. With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. 
Yeah, Red Sox got Cody Bellinger, but they, start a new series. they just started well, losing Matt, anyways. Lineup finds themselves down two runs. Nothing crazy. Got Everyone a lot of injuries. Relax, stay within the game plan. Find a way uh, to execute and get one run on the board and get back in this. Into the box now, Marcus Wilson, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Wilson, just 24 years of age, is usually found in left, but in this one, he's manning the other corner outfield spot in right. Goes the other way with a curveball. Oh, of course, the rookie. Right center, it's a base hit. Batting third, the center fielder, Cody. Bellinger. So here's Cody Bellinger as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Use the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat mouse game continues on. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. On a good curveball. There we go. The curveball on the outside. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a Well, liner. there we go. In there, a base hit. Now a long throw to third. And he's safe. There we go. Yeah, after that base hit right there, that he's got a six-game hit streak going. Third base you know what? And this could be Not this could lead him on to something, some bigger yeah, and better better. things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. Here now is Rafael Devers. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. The average sits at a cool 305 entering play. He's been phenomenal runs, this year. And 66 driven in. 0-1 delivery. Hit in the air down the right field line. Try but to pull this that is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Here it comes, 0-2. He appears to be having some issues with pitch command to start the game. He's dealing with two guys on, and that last pitch looked like a big mistake in that location. Right down the middle, but he got away with it. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Another one sent foul. All right, so this guy just doesn't want anything to do. I mean, the 0 2 once more is yeah. cold strike three. Outside corner, take a, a seat. Off the plate that time. Well, no He's preferential pissed. treatment there. Sometimes we see great no hitters have their calls go. Oh, that was a ball, pitches, too. Not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. A swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. Comes in here right at 260. 13 home runs and 31 RBIs. Ian Happ, their fourth outfielder. On now it's way, gonna... the pitch. Foul tip held on to behind the plate at strike two. Well, he's in a bit of hot water in this first inning, but if he can start throwing his slider effectively like that, he has a lot better chance of settling into this game. Started to go. Yes. The appeal down to third and Got out of it. Up, Good going, Bauman. He's gone. Bellinger connects. Oh, bye-bye. Gone. He uses that short porch to an advantage. Home run. Oh, crying out loud. Three run home run down the line in right. 12. Home I knew that was going to cost us that first he inning when we couldn't get Red more Sox runs. Down to a 4 2 lead. Yeah, wow, looks like Mr. Bauman right might be going back to Triple A. With one swing of the bat, they're up two. What a turnaround in this one! Great job by the pitcher right there to put him in the proverbial rocking chair. Slowed him down, sped him up, slowed him down. Oh, Let's I don't think he's going to come home that though. Gets down and the inning will continue. Bauman We're going to send him home. and is headed home. Yes. And, and Mullins is ninth triple of the year. Now. 
And here comes Chris Davis. Chris Davis will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. 160, six homers, 17 RBI. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Getting on base, a big problem as you see the average there. Six home runs and 17 RBIs. Oh, I thought you hung one. He did hang, like hang he one, but it's Chris right Davis. There, a little bit too far out so front. he doesn't have a lot of contact. He had back. a lot of swing and miss. So one, one home. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. Oh, hey come boys, on, Chris. you talking about getting your ace swing off right here? That's what it looks. Can't like release him. He's making twenty-three million. Fastball well outside. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils. But he'll be moving on next year. Three runs, eight hits. Basically, he'll no be he'll, he'll retire. So far. He just doesn't have the skill. And he goes the other way. As this is oh, that might that's going to be a double. Away left. And it's gone. Oh, it's gone. It's over the monster opposite like field for Davis. Runner. Seven home runs. Chris Davis. Solo home run for Chris Hang Davis. in there, big boy. Seven home runs for him on the year now. That'll pull him even at four apiece. There we go. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows. Just barely over. Start with the numero uno, number oh, one. Oh, hit barely the over my butt. To everything else. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And that's in there as well. 0 and 2 now. Ooh, someone might be wearing the sombrero. Runs on first, one away. Ah! Oh. Right. Of course. Typical Red Sox Yankee hitter strikes out three times, hits a two-run blast to win the game. Ah! Uh, on top of it. All right, well, we lost there. Damn, Dave Devers and Bellinger. And Marcus Wilson there, that number two hitter. Gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Cam Hill. Hill records the save, his 17th on the all right, Cam Hill's got an ERA in, what, 15s now. Oh, more than that, he's probably got an ERA in 20s. Let me see. Yeah, 18. <laughs> Holy crap. 0 oh, and 2. Oh, welcome, 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 welcome. He pitched 18 games in 2020, and he sucked then, and he sucks now. And ay, ay, ay. Should have brought I should have brought Pat Venditti back up, but he was doing horrible this year. Actually, he wasn't doing that horrible. Hmm. And Connor, did we we got him from the White Sox, right? Yeah, we did. We got him from the White Sox. Got him in that Josh Harrison. So we got him. And we got Tyquan Forbes, who's now hitting 388. Jiminy Christmas. Might have to bring him up to double A. Send J Demerit back down. Um all right, so uh I think yeah, we're going to sim those games. Uh, I think the next game we'll play is at Chicago on a Sunday. Um, then we might face, face the Yankees again there. Then we'll face the Twins and the A's. And then Norwich. 
Season coming to a close. Let's see if we can play spoiler. That's what we want to do. All right, thanks for joining me. Get up, my angel.